Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Naughty Nine, which is a new family act adventure comedy coming your way for the holidays on Disney+. Plus. This film is directed by Alberto Belli and focuses on a group of kids led by Winslow Fegley's Andy who are the Naughty Nine. Nine kids who wound up on the naughty list who want to get their presents from Santa so get hop a steal a plane fly up to the North Pole and try to steal their presents from Santa's vault. And this 83-minute film is a strange mix of The Dirty Dozen and Ocean's Eleven, but for kids stealing from Santa. And sure, they're naughty kids, and of course our main character goes on a journey to try to be a better kid, and it hits all those very familiar beats. In general, I feel like this film's pretty inoffensive. Played safe. It has some fun with the whole North Pole and Santa's village. And, like, elves having an after-Christmas party and all these different kinds of things. Its special effects definitely look like this was made for uh, Disney+, Plus, so not great. But it still has some interesting designs and costumes and stuff like that. I think this group of nine kids, most of them are pretty fun and engaging to watch. Uh, I think Winslow Fegley definitely has a lot of experience at this point as a young child actor and is a good anchoring lead to this. Some of the young actors stand out a little bit more than others. I think Clara Stack, who plays Rose, who loves animals, is definitely one of the standouts for me. And also, one of the problems of the film is that her character has no conceivable reason why she should be on the naughty list. She's like environmentalist kid who gets in trouble for breaking the rules trying to save an animal and then Santa's like, nope, you're naughty. And it's just like, what kind of message is that supposed to be sending? <laughs> and so that I didn't get. And it, the film also never really acknowledges that point and just kind of leaves you like, yeah, she's bad too. And then... A lot of this film, you're just like, these are a bunch of little jerk kids that did bad things and shouldn't get their presents. But, you know, by the end, it's a lesson. They learned a lesson, and it worked out, and it's a good, feel-good kind of movie. Uh, definitely doesn't have the most unique or interesting humor or interesting way of telling the story. It's pretty by the numbers. Definitely borrows a lot from heist films, or specifically, you know, the Rick and Morty episode about heist films. But in the end, I feel like this is a sweet enough movie. Very underutilized Danny Glover as Santa. I don't really think that he brought much to it. And then it obnoxiously sets up for a sequel. I'm like, wow, Disney, really playing it confident with this one. So maybe we're going to have the Naughty Ten See what I did there? And of course it's going to rip off the Oceans movies, because of course it will. But in the end, this is a pretty inoffensive, sweet little film that has some good heart and good intentions by the end, if you could get through some of the moral ambigu uh, ambiguity and questionable morals of some of the aspects of this film. But in general, it's a fun romp that the whole family can enjoy for the holidays. But those are my thoughts on The Naughty Nine. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.